What's going on everybody, my name is Rico, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode of Hot to Thursday, I'm not going to show you guys something in Darktable, but I'm going to show you guys how to remove objects in GIMP. Right, so here's my phone and here's my comment section. Um, I got a comment from A1 Bokeh and he left a comment saying another cool video would be how to add items in the background in GIMP like adding clouds and trees. Guess what? Great suggestion. I'll show you guys that next week. In this episode I'm going to show you guys how to remove something. Right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to the link in the description down below and that will bring you to this site from GitHub. It's a de developer site. But what you need to do is you need to hit download and then it'll download a zip file you can store it any way you like and then there's two things that you need to do uh, the first thing is that you need to open up the file and then the second thing is open up the plugins folder in your GIMP so you go to program files or wherever you stored GIMP then go to GIMP 2.10 libraries GIMP 2.0 and then plugins and then what you need to do is you need to select the first one select the last one and then just drag it all to here to paste it and then we need to open up GIMP this is the image that we're going to work with today and what I want to show you guys is I want to remove this pole right here GIMP has a couple of tools to do that the first tool that we can use is the heel selection tool the best way to use this is for portraits but let me zoom in the picture for you guys and show you guys what will happen. That's a bit too much, so I'm going to zoom out. There we go. You've got a couple of options on the left side over here. The first option is uh, where you can increase the size of the brush, or you can obviously decrease the size of the brush as well. You can fill in everything manually like so, and now the brush is even smaller. You can change the aspect, you can change the angle, uh, the room in between, and the hardness. I recommend you not putting this on 100 because I'll show you guys what happens. You need to hit the control and then click once. That will be your source area. So this will be the area that the next step will draw the pixels from. So let me click once and now you can see that it doesn't really look very good. Or actually it doesn't really look pretty bad but as you can see it's pretty hard. You can definitely tell the lines. So let me undo that by hitting control Z. There we go. And I'm going to change the hardness to 20 because I think that's perfect for now. Let me draw the line down like so. And my recommendation is to use a source that is very close to the area that you want to use the uh, heel tool with or for or on or whatever. So there we go. And now let me click here. There we go this goes even better than I thought and now if we scroll out from the image you can't really tell you do see a line over here but obviously it's very easy to um, get rid of that by just you know uh, moving a little bit from side to side like so and now everything looks a lot more better than it was a minute ago so that's the first way how you can remove items or areas or whatever uh, people for instance the second way to do this is to use the clone stamp tool I'm going to uh, undo everything that I've just done. So I'm bringing back the pole. There we go Now what we need to do is we need to use the clone tool over here I'm going to keep everything as is including the hardness and I'm going to zoom in the image again There we go. I'm going to hit the control click once and this is the source and now I'm going to just drag over, over the uh, pole like so. To use it like so. If you want to add things or you want to remove things more easily, I think this is the tool to go. So I'm going to increase the brush. And I'm going to click here. Just going to drag it over like so. A little bit to the side. Maybe like here as well. Let's see how that looks if we zoom out. There we go, that looks pretty fine. So I'm going to zoom back in again. I'm going to decrease the brush a little bit, like so. 
to get a smaller area. Yeah, I'm satisfied how that looks for now. Uh, obviously, you can do this way more perfectly. Uh, it's very hard to do so down here. Uh, but all you need to do is decrease the brush like so. Well, this is maybe a little bit too small. Let me increase the brush. Let me click it and watch what happens to the pole. Everything looks normal. Everything looks natural. There we go. Yeah, I could get rid of this little spot right here because it doesn't look perfect. But if we zoom out, you can't really tell we did anything. But that's another way how you can remove objects from your image. Now let me get rid of this layer because it's more easily. There we have the pole back again. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer again. And the reason why you want to duplicate the layer is because everything you do to this layer, you won't be doing to this layer. So if you don't like it, you can just remove this layer and everything is back to normal. There's one more thing how you can do this and that's why you need to do what I just showed you guys in the beginning of this video. Which is using the, uh, let's go to enhance, using the heel selection tool. And how do you use the heel selection tool? Let me show you guys. I'm going to use the free select tool, which is over here on the left side. I'm just going to draw around the pole like so. There we go. Now let me close it down by hitting control and then clicking the first point, so the in point, then hit enter, so everything gets selected. And now you see moving ends over here. And what you need to do right now is go to filters and then enhance, and then go to heel selection. I will be changing this in English for you guys in the future, but I forgot for this tutorial, so my bad. So click the heel selection. Now let's wait. And there it is. I'm going to use the sampling width on 50 pixels. I'm going to let it sample from all around and I'm just going to leave it on random. Now let's hit OK and let's see what happens. So now it's resynthesizing the image or the area actually. And now as you can see the same effect has applied as the heel selection and the clone tool. It didn't do a very good job actually. I'm quite surprised because I'm used to the fact that it does a better job. So let me undo that and let's see if I can uh, make this a little bit better. So I'm going to click the selection tool again. I'm just going to draw around it close to the pole. There we go. Same goes for here. So I'm grabbing a smaller area. I'm going back to filters again. I'm going to enhance. I'm going to heal selection. I know I'm running through this fairly quickly, but I just wanted to show you guys a second result. So let me hit OK and let's wait for a minute. A few moments later. There we go. And that looks so much better. So it was all me that made it fail. So I'm going to select none to get rid of the moving ends and look at that it looks absolutely amazing it did a fantastic job in erasing the pole and those are three ways to erase something from your image in gimp and that's it i hope you guys liked it let me know in the comment section down below i would love to hear your thoughts and i guess there's just one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button consider subscribing if you haven't already Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!